paint the face, we will initially ignore the facial features. I'm also putting in the lightest value, then I'll put in the darkest value, and then the mid value. The lightest value is going to go in any area that's protruding or coming out toward us the most. So that would definitely be the forehead right above the, the eyebrow, the nose slightly in from the outside edge, a little bit on that nose wing, above the upper lip and the chin. I'm going to connect that up just a little bit. So that was my lightest value. Now I'm going in with my first dark, not the darkest value. I'm going to place in where I see those strong darks. Keep in mind that a, a head is actually just a very large egg shape. So I'm definitely going to try to replicate that idea. So I'm creating just that very strong crescent of dark. And maybe you're thinking, oh that looks so dark. Well, I think it looks very dark but there's nothing else down to compare it to. I'm going to darken where that socket is for the eye. The nose wing. The outside edge of the nose itself. This isn't a three-quarters view or a profile, just somewhere in between. So there'll be a little bit of dark over on this side. And again, fluffing into the, into the hair. Top lip is always darker than the bottom lip. Almost always there's exceptions to that rule. Laying in some dark to create the neck. All outside edges will have dark on them, unless it's the edge of a cube. A little bit of dark on the underneath of her chin. Notice I have not been blending. Now I'm placing the medium value. The canvas that I'm using is, is a portrait grade. You still see a little bit of texture, but not much. Keep that in mind if you are thinking about using not a portrait grade canvas, you'll You'll find it from beginning to end. Lightening it up just a little bit on her on her neck. Now I can come in with the mid value. I must just start to connect everything up. I actually think I'm going to add a little bit more dark before. really watching the, the shapes, because that's what's going to create the, the form. I'm ignoring the eyebrow. 
ignoring the eyeball. The goal is just a, a smooth blend in creating the form. I'm going to come back in with a Q-tip and do a little bit of a wipe out. 